Hey everyone, it's me, Wilkie here, and I'm back with another Shonen Or video. Uh, this time, uh, there's a video with me doing the super hard All Might raid. Uh, this one's really tough, and it's also really long. I usually like to leave the old animations on, but because of how crazy long this fight is, I turned them off. Like, I think at the end you'll see, like, if I had left them on, it would have added another, I think, six minutes at the end. But anyway... Let me kind of break down first what this fight is, and then second, the team I use, the coma, and all that other good stuff. So, let's start with All Might. His raid is... Well, his original raid was one of the older ones, and it's also one of the tougher ones. Uh, it was the first raid that ever, like, legitimately kicked my ass. Like, that was the start of, like... The super hard raids was all might i would say and his main gimmick is is that he likes to deal just a buttload of damage and then also give himself guts so with guts enabled he's able to live through basically dying for i believe it's eight hits afterwards six i don't know how much is it in the super raid because of a technique i used i did not want to deal with it and i'll go into it a little bit later but uh, let's start by Breaking down the team I'm using, we got first, we got uh, Kaniku Man, who is, if you, while you're watching the video, you'll notice he's the main damage dealer. I'm also not doing it live, just because to record this video, it took me an hour to actually beat him again after I beat him the first time. So as you can imagine, like, a lot of that video would be me having to re-explain and re-explain and re-explain over and over again, so it's just easier for me to do it this way. Anyway, Kaniku Man. Kaniku Man has a has three passes are boost the attack of all physical members by medium amount, boost damage dealt to heart by an extreme amount, and then when he as long as he's above 30% HP, everyone takes less damage from hearts by a large amount. So, very good, very decent. His ultimate attack is the Kaniku Driver. He uh, boosts his damage to heart by a mega amount, which is you'll need for this raid and then he flicks 600% and then 400% right afterwards since All Might's only one person that's the one thing you'll need to worry about and then the skills I'm using for him are skill 3 which is the Kaniku Buster his signature move it deals 400% damage and ignores defense which is good and skill 4 the power of friendship which boosts everyone's attack by an extreme amount and prevents their rollback but that doesn't matter the important thing is the attack boost, and it really only affects Kaneku Man. Next dude is the dude on the far left, which is Frieza. His main, his passives are an attack boost, sorry, an attack boost to all physical members. There's a lot to talk about here. He boosts the HP of all aliens, which is basically just him and Kaneku. And until the end of the first turn, he takes 1,000 less damage, which doesn't matter for this raid. What does matter is his ultimate attack and two skills. His ultimate attack deals 300% damage, but then the important thing is that he negates all stat buffs on hard enemies and prevents stat buffs for two turns. So that means when it's applied, uh, All Might can't, like when he uses his gut skill, it won't work. So all the buffs he gets, all the shields he gets is negated. And if he, if he use it later, then it will apply still. So that's really good and so very useful. His skill one is inflict 100%, 150% damage, but then the important thing is that he reduces the ultimate attack damage by a large amount and then rolls back their cooldown by just 5%, which isn't too great, but it's something. Skill two is a one, another 150%, and this time it boosts the damage received from physical units. You can use skill three. I wouldn't though. And for Kaneku Man, if you're using him in the front, which I don't know why you would, but if you were, you can use uh, skill 1 over skill 4 because it's a self-giving guts. Anyway, next units. That's Frieza. His main thing is like debuffing All Might, which you need. If you don't have Lee, Frieza is a godsend. He's kind of like, I would say, a less attack-focused Lee which can be very good if you're in it for the long haul, which I was for this fight. Next unit is uh, Chopper. Uh, his passives are 
He boosts the defense of all physical team members by a large amount to stat prevent two status buffs to him, and when HP is below 30%, boost recovery rate by a large amount. <laughs> and he has a his ultimate. It's nothing great because I'll get into it is a little bit later, but it's 400% damage, boost damage up by a mega amount for him. Uh, and then the skills you want to I used for him was skill one and skill three. Skill one is his heal, which is the basic large HP recovery once, and then if they're physical, heal it again. And skill three is negate one step buff and then reduce their defense by a large amount. You want to kind of be cautious when you're using that specific move because what will happen is that um, I'll get a little bit into it a little bit more. But that's Chopper. He's the healer. Uh, you want to give him all defense, and I, sh I forgot to mention for Frieza. Frieza should be a... Frieza's pretty good with just like attack stuff on him. So to help get All Might to his final form. Alright, let's see. Next unit. It's... Gravity Girl. I think it's Ururaka. Is how you pronounce it. I'm not 100% sure. But still, her passives boost attack, medium amount, reduce damage by medium amount, and boost the uh, ult of all members with protagonists by medium amount, which is important for Kaniku. Uh, her ult is 8 hits, which can be good for getting rid of the shield, and then during the early game, it helps lower All Might's uh, HP to get to the final stage. And then the skills I used for her are, I believe it's skill 3 which is inflict you inflict 200% damage to the target and then reduce their damage dealt by an extreme amount and then her skill 2 which is reduce damage received by 1000 but if you're physical it's 2500 and that's for two t for three turns excuse me and that's very useful because it will help make it so all might deals nothing to the front which is good and then we have finally is K. I'll just call him that. He's the volleyball boy. He is the reason why I was able to do this raid. His passives are all normal attacks and single target ults specifically have to target him. He boosts the ultimate damage to all physical members by medium amount and he takes mega less damage until he's below 70% HP. Excuse me. His ult 1 boosts damage received. And he deals, I think, 450% damage. And the skills I use with him are skill 1 and skill 2. So skill 1 reduces the defense by an extreme amount. And this is why I said you have to use the chopper skill sparingly. is because a lot of people don't know this. Is that when you apply a debuff, it replaces the previous debuff. So if you debuff by a large amount, then uh, by an extreme amount, and then later on someone debuffs them by a large amount, the extreme debuff will be removed and replaced with a large one instead. So you want to try and make your team not have that problem of like accidentally switching stuff out. So those are the units, and the fight's pretty simple. You just kind of don't take any damage from All Might until the very last stage where he should in theory still not deal very much damage to you his ult can be a problem because for some reason they made it i think it's because specifically because of k they made it so all might's ult can trigger to can attack whoever he wants of the first three rows so if he hits Uraraka, it's the worst case scenario because she has the worst defense if it hits chopper that's also pretty bad because you want him to live and if it hits volleyball boy it's perfect because he deals like zero damage to him and from then on in you just have Kaneko Man slowly, slowly kill him. That's like how I do it, and that's how I was able to do it. And it takes a really a long ass time. Like, I think a faster way to do this is to use it with like Misa, but personally for raids, I prefer defense over attack. So that's how I was able to beat him. So hopefully, if you're wondering like how the hell do I beat him, this is a pretty good way of doing it. I think a lot of people uh, use this method to beat him. I saw a couple people in the secret or chat that, I, that I'm in talk about it, so there you go. That's the All My Raid. This one's really tough, but strangely enough, probably the easiest one. 
just because so many of the units I mentioned, like, three out of five of them are free units, and Kaneku Man is forever, is a JA, and uh, Volleyball Boy is a PvP unit, so that's it. Until next time, guys.